Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Stroker Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. Today is Monday, May 27th, 2024, year of our Lord, season number two, episode number 148. In today's show, we will talk about coffee cup. We will talk about sundries, and we will talk about snakes. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas, and the powerful CHUMP Studios. Today our show is brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool, ReadyTo.com, R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Check them out. So today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1976. In 1976, I had hired on at Roach Paint Company and uh, was working in the warehouse, pulling orders. I'd gone to the Arlington store, come back to the warehouse, then they moved me up to the fifth floor, which was sundries. So in the paint business, sundries are brushes, roller covers, putty knives, you know, stuff like that. And it was a whole floor dedicated to it. So there were two guys up there. One guy that was the boss of the fifth floor was named A.W. Everett. And A.W. Everett had... Uh, he was a World War II veteran. He stormed the beach at Normandy and was wounded. Was a great guy. And the other guy's name was Richard. And Richard was a pretty slow feller. And I don't mean slow mentally. I mean he was just pretty lazy. That's why I was up there. So the first thing he did was he introduced himself to me. And I said, Richard, we've met half a dozen times. Keep in mind, I'm 19 and he's 50. And he said, yeah, but you always call me Richard. You can call me by my CB handle. And I said, okay, what's that? And he said, coffee cup. And I said, okay, Richard, you don't want to call me coffee cup? I said, no, I'll just call you Richard. So it was, it was pretty cool working up there. Because uh, it was a, a, a lot more of a kind of a cush job. You didn't have to lift five-gallon buckets all day long. You were lifting roller covers and putty knobs and uh, paint brushes and different things. But you had to be on the ball because there were a hundred different kinds of paint brushes. And each kind of paint brushes, there were different styles. So it was a, a lot more thinking up there than it was pulling paint and I enjoyed it very much working there then I went from there I went down back to the office in the warehouse and then from there to Irving and blah 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 all right let's check that Chuck check that Chuck you big old Woo! hey you got some zebras on dude yeah I don't like to brag but check that out boys you got your black and your white, high top, Chuck Taylor, black logo, black toe, black show, double white racing stripes, two bent hose, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, what do you think, y'all? These are some handsome Chucks. Where you at today? Well, I think you know where I'm at. Check that out. So we still build custom bikes. This is a custom bike we are doing for a customer slash friend. We have done several bikes with him already. This is one of my proprietary frames. It's got the gas, the oil tank, and the battery. In between these, there's a little cooling space, you know, because the oil tank gets hot. So there's a little cooling space in there. 
It's a TP-121 motor, Baker 6-speed, right side drive, uh, ride right, 80 spoke wheels, which will be painted. This is just a bad dude, and this is the kind of stuff we do. If you would like us to build a bike for you, we would love to talk to you about it, but I'm going to tell you we're not cheap. We don't need to practice. We don't need the experience. We're good at what we do. And we enjoy doing it. But, uh, you know, we want to be paid for our labor, see? If you'd like a bike built, we'd love to talk to you. This is going to be a bad, bad dude here. Okay, let's check Grandma's calendar. 75 years ago today. What is today? The 27th? May 1949, the 27th. We went to town this evening. Dick took a tombstone out to Bobby's grave. Dixie is sick tonight. Okay, so what that means is Bobby was my uncle that lived to be about six years old and he died. So guess when he died, they couldn't afford a tombstone. So a few years later, uh, they got one. And you know, here's a cool fact. Probably about seven, eight years ago, me and my brother Randy and my cousin Deanna decided that uh, Bobby needed a new tombstone, a proper tombstone. So we bought him one. We had one made that matched uh, the others, my grandma and my grandpa's, and uh, we did that, which is pretty cool. Lone Oak Cemetery, Sayre, Oklahoma. But they have paved the roads around it now. Used to be all dirt roads. Well, now they've got some paved roads in there, too. All right, dad joke. What has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. Get it? Get off the couch and motivational minute. My morals are you treat me good, I'll treat you better. What does that mean, Mr. Fairless? Heavy on that, mister. That means people that give respect get respect. People that are just goofballs, they don't give any respect, you're not probably going to get any back. You know, the bottom line is always the same. Treat others as you want to be treated. If you treat somebody like a fool, then you'll be treated like a fool. Doesn't that bike look good? Look at that. That's a sexy looking bike there. All right. Stroker's Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H, for shirts like this. That's the Pam Skyline. And see, the Pam is two three-inch tubes, whereas this frame is the Betty frame. It's one six-inch tube. Kind of change it up a little bit. All right, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know that snakes smell with their tongues no but the way they're sticking it out there and i guess that's what they're doing they're sniffing around for danger uh today should be a good day we had a good weekend it's hot in texas already we're pushing 100 i think it's going to cool down our power was out for five hours yesterday that's pretty miserable. But it came up, and we drank as much beer as fast as we could till the power came back on, and then we leveled out and just did some solid beer drinking and some cheeseburger eating. If you ain't been here, I wish you'd come see us. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless. I got to go. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. You know it.